was it. So I said, now let's talk about, let's say that now we have a progressive system, or let's say we travel back to 2017, and your income is 75,000. So now you have to do uh, some calculations to find out, you know, what your taxes will be on this income if we had a progressive, you know, tax system. So now watch what I'm doing now. So my income, this is what you want to do. If I ask you a question, this is what you want to do. Find out where exactly it falls. This $75,000 falls. So this is number one, bracket number one. We call them tax brackets. Number two, number three. So $75,000 falls in this bracket. Right? So what you have to do is split your, split your $75,000 into two parts. Divide it into two parts. The part that falls here and the part that falls here. You see what I'm saying here? So what part falls here in the first one? In the first one, what falls here is $50,000. Am I right? Okay. What part falls in the second <laughs> bracket? The remainder, this number minus this number, right? Which is $25,000. So $25,000 falls in this bracket. Okay, so my first $50,000 will be taxed at, at uh, 15%. And the next $25,000 will be taxed at a higher rate, which is what we mean by a progressive, you know, taxation system, which will be taxed at the higher rate of 25%. So this will be taxed at 15%, and this will be taxed at 25%. So my tax will be, this will be 7,500, and this will be, I believe, 6,250 if I'm not mistaken. So my total tax will be $13,750. You see how this system works? So unlike the, un, unlike uh, the flat tax rate system where we just had to make one calculation, right? Just one multiplication. We have to do multiple here, depending upon where your taxable income falls. Now, if your taxable income falls here, for example, your taxable income is $100,000, you have to divide your income into three parts, okay? Mm -hmm. The lowest income will be taxed at the lowest rate, the middle part will be taxed at the middle rate, which is the 25% rate, and the highest part will be taxed at the highest rate of 34%. And this is not the complete table, as I showed you for the, uh, for, uh, I mean, uh, the, the table is much, much, uh, you know, uh, longer than what you see here. There are many, many more categories down there, the brackets down there. So if you were to make $100,000, you would do the 50000 and the 15%, then 25, you do 25000 In the second. And then the rest. The and third. the rest, whatever, 25000 in the in the third okay. one. Okay, so now let's talk about the average tax rate. You see the average there? Uh, this this is not meaningful for corporation, but still meaningful for personal, you know, uh, tax system because we still have a progressive, you know, personal tax system. So what's the average tax rate? Under this, this one here, for the, for when you have a flat tax rate, is the same, 21%. Average is 21%. But for this one, what's the average tax rate? So the formula for the average tax rate is, the formula is your taxes paid or the tax bill, whatever you want to call it, divided by taxable income. So, um, Okay, whatever your tax bill is, whatever your tax liability is, or taxes paid is, divided by your taxable income. So in this case, your, your uh, taxes paid is $13,750. All right, and divided by, what was your income? Your income was $75,000. So please use your calculator and tell me what the answer is. <coughs> What's the answer? 13,750 divided by your taxable income of $75,000. 
0.183, which is 18.3%. What does it mean, the average? What it says is, so, so uh, you'll be making a mistake if you take, because you're saying, hey, you have two different rates. Some income is taxed at this rate, some income is taxed at this rate. Some of you might mistakenly say, I'm gonna add the two and divide by two. That, that will be my average rate, wrong. Why? Because you have different dollar amounts, you know, for these, these different rates, so that will be wrong. So this is the correct approach to find your. So what we are saying is, hey, uh, some of my income is taxed at 15%. As you can see here, some of my income 50,000. Some is taxed at 25%. My average tax rate is 18.3%. What does it mean? It means for every $1 uh, that, that I earn, I pay, a, I pay taxes uh, in the amount of 18 cents. Okay, 18 cents on average. Okay, for for on each dollar of income, uh, uh, I pay on average 18 cents in taxes for each dollar of income. So this is the average. How do you find the marginal? Marginal means if your income were to go, by, go up by $1. So let's talk about the 75,000 here. So I said my income is 75,000 here. This is 75,000. Okay, if your income were to go up by $1, at what rate will that $1, the additional dollar be taxed? So if your income were to go up to 75,000 and $1, you see what I'm saying here? Now you're gonna fall here. So that one dollar will, will be taxed here. You see what I'm saying here? So now you're gonna have three categories. So what are the three? So the first one is, so I'm saying this is your taxable income. So the first is 50,000, the second is 25,000, and the third is just one dollar. Just one dollar, okay? So if your income were to go up by $1, at what rate will that $1 be taxed? Now this $1 will be taxed at what rate? 34%. So this, this is your marginal tax rate. Okay, marginal means the tax rate on the additional dollar of income. The tax rate on the additional dollar of income, that's marginal, okay? That's called the marginal tax rate. Okay, let me reinforce this by asking you questions. Suppose your income is $49,000, $49,000. Where does it fit? It fits here, am I right? It fits here. Zero and 50,000, 49,000 fits, fits there, right? Now, what's the tax rate? 15%, right? If your income goes, goes up by $1, assume, it, it's $49,001. At what rate will the additional dollar be taxed? The same 15%, right? It doesn't move you up to the next bracket. That's what the question is. If you were to earn one extra dollar, one additional dollar, is it gonna move you up to the next bracket or not? If it's gonna keep you in the same bracket, then your marginal tax rate is the same as that bracket shows, okay? Let's take another question. What if your income is $50,000, $50,000? Now watch carefully. 50,000 falls here. This also falls here. If your income were to go up above $1, what's gonna happen now? That $1 is gonna push you to the next bracket. You see what I'm saying here? To the next bracket. So that $1 is, is gonna be taxed at what rate? 50,001, it says 50,001. That $1 is gonna be taxed at 25%. So your marginal tax rate will be 25%. So only if you, if you are on the, on the margins here, you know, on the edges here, that the marginal tax rate will be different. As long as, you know, the additional dollar keeps you in the same bracket, your marginal tax is gonna be the same as indicated by, by the tax rate for that bracket. All right, okay, moving on then. Any questions? I don't want to. 
not give you a chance to ask questions. Does anyone have any questions? All right, then moving on. Okay, uh, this is an important topic, so uh, 